the Russian red side to get on, get, at least get back on their backside lumber. That's what I think would happen. And he'll be met by opposition, of course, somebody coming from the backside. But let's see what Josh can do is he's going to be pushing up. Now, I love, let's see the breakout. I love looking at the minimap just to see what these guys are doing. And you see it's a fairly, like, one-sided push. But right there, Josh is going to pick up one kill. He does get set down. All of, um, all of the Eagle Slayers. Eagle Slayers went down. I noticed that. And the last one up left was Revan, which uh, it's kind of hard to do on your own to sit there. But and they didn't get a capture, luckily. Well, yeah, luckily there wasn't anything, but Vintage, he is right there. Oh, he just had to win that one fight, and he would have been golden to score. And it's going to be the Eagle Slayers playing a little bit of defense right there. Finally, a score does go down for Orbit. So let's see what Revan can do to counteract. He's going to be trying to do that OBJ roll and score. What I noticed is the Eagle Slayers didn't shut their front door on that uh, Owens building. That, if you don't shut the front door, that leaves two routes for you have to look at at all times and one thing about the door when it opens it makes noise so you can hear it so it, it, it's a, a hearing indicator and also just blocking the route but if you notice what Josh just did as he uh, he wasn't going through front door he was gonna go around to the side but he opened front door give that distraction ability for his teammates to move in behind now we're gonna see LXT get into a little bit of a gunfight shots fired nothing really happened and the player went upstairs and around it looks like that was, I couldn't see who that was. Revan. Revan. But if you notice, Josh he's picking up his sleigh game. Yeah, he is picking up his sleigh game as well as LXT is. Vintage is also positive. It's Jake, who's 2-5. and five. But as you see, the Eagle Slayers right now, they're, they're setting up for a uh, relay right now. They're setting up to get back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back caps. Well, let's watch next. You said he needed to have a big game, and it looks like he's going to get in, and he's going to put himself in a good position to score one more time. He's going to have to pick some people off as they come through the bottom and they did spot him already will he get this to oh, he, he does get a cap woo! goodness gracious he's able to get that now i know orbit lost last time and why they got sent to the losers was because of the blitz they ended up losing by two hopefully they won't see the same thing here but it is the israel slayers who've made a good comeback so far scoring four in a row from, from what i hear uh from i was talking complexity the other night they said that if you have a really good blitz game you pretty much take the series home with you. Well, right now in these best of threes, it's Blitz that decides it, right? Yeah. It, when it goes to the best of fives, it's going to be Search. Oh uh, yeah, I definitely agree with that. So you have to have the you have to have all game types down to be really really good, right? Yeah. I and mean, that's just how it, how it's boiling down to. But look at LXT, ten and six so far. He's pushing up. They're just not able to get the caps. Where it's it's next. He has three caps already. He might not have to slay. He just needs to get those caps. LXT though, he pushed up the good side and slayed three or four. And Mochilla is coming in at 13 and 8. We switch over hit to him in a good spot. He does finally go down, leaving Revan all by his lonesome. Revan's gonna be working upstairs, making sure nobody drops down in front of him. Oh! It looks like he could have got team killed right there. And if you notice, right before next die closed that front door, but they are still able to get a capture jumping through the backside. Now, Mochilla, he still has this MTAR. Does anybody on Eagle Slayers have an AR right now? Um, I didn't notice anyone that did, which could definitely be a factor be as the why they're down right now. But, uh, oh, no, they're actually no, they're up, by they're up right now. Yeah, so it could be the fact that they're able to play so aggressively. But next and burns off are the only two with the cast i thought revan would be in there a little bit more as well but what i noticed is they're playing so aggressive that they're all on one side i noticed that they left the side open someone just ran and capped it let's give lxt some more love as he is 12 and 7 and he's going to be pushing up does he get yes he does pick up a one more kill 13 and 7 he has those two caps i like how they're pushing in unison this could be big for orbit only one more play he gets set down lxt able to score right there and they are starting to mount a comeback still only down by two five to seven and it is the eagle slayers that need to pick up a little bit more to widen their lead if you notice though or orbit is scoring but at the same time they're leaving their base open again for the eagle slayers to roll on in well, with LXT still scoring, it, you know, they're going to be going hand in hand. You can't have that. You got to have somebody on orbit. Maybe play a little bit of defense. Sit back. Well, if you noticed, uh, they shut down Mochilla. What was he? 13 and 8. Now he's 16 and 13. They shut him down. Well, and 
Also, Orbit or LXT from Orbit, 16 and 8. That's a 2 KD and the and four, four cap. captures. So, not only is he capping, he's slaying like a beast. And he look at that route wow. right there, just jumps uh, over. He spots two plays, can't get a two piece. Double he kill. Get a two uh. piece. Oh my goodness. But it's going to be the E Girl Slayers two, two up right now. What I noticed with LXT with his captures, he doesn't run the same route over and over again. I noticed with some teams they'll run the same route and then the other team just they catch on to it easily. Yeah. Every route, every time I see him run, it's a different route. Well, and then you have to change it up or else they know where you're coming. They'll start playing differently, especially when you're playing against a high caliber team. I want to watch Mochilla a little bit more. You said he did get shut down a little bit. He's 16 and 14, so I think he went down three right there. I think yeah. he was 16 and 11 at one point. I think that uh, he he went from more of a slow type to try and be aggressive to get a little bit more captures but that stopped working for him I, don't, I think so personally we need to watch next because he's an absolute scoring machine he's going to be spawning all the way in the back so he's going to have to make some work but it will be a good chance to see which routes he's taking maybe you can explain to us like why he's doing what he's doing um personally whenever he's on their side he may see someone and he'll just keep on moving past them as you know by healing he has nine kills um, he's playing the sneaky type, but when he's in the middle of the map, he's also the aggressive type. He's having map control, as you can see. He's watching mid uh, Owens and uh, Red Side. So now he's pushed up all the way, and it looks like they have let their they let their op door open. He's gonna sit on it. He gets sat down before he can score. Machilla though, he's picked it up. He is now 20 and 15. Gets sat down right when I go over to him. Let's see what Revan is doing. Revan was negative before. He's now 15 and 15. Brought it back. I'd like to see a few more casts, but it looks like he's focused more on the defensive side. Yeah, they, uh, Eagle Slayers look like they slowed it down a little bit, making sure they hold that, what is that, four cap lead right now. And it's Vintage who does it get sat down. Josh, he is poised. He's up top white. He's poised to sneak in there and try to get a score, but what he might not know is there's three players all around him. He gets pinched. Uh, Orbit right now, they're, they're getting on the aggressive side. I'm liking it. They're all... They're all getting ready to relay it, as you see. They're all moving in on the building. But at the same time, the Eagle Slayers are doing their thing still. They are, and they're up by four now, so they've widened the gap. And look at Burns off. He has the four caps now. Let's watch him for a minute and see what he can do with his MTAR. He's going to see somebody. He's going to be able to pick them out. One more. Can he get that? Yes, he does get the kill. He's going to open the door now. And I like how he opens it. Kind of juke him out. Say, hey, there's somebody right there. He didn't even bother shooting <laughs> at the guy. I, I noticed that Burns off. He, he's, he's always getting those two pieces. And then he has the same good route that, like, say, LXT is running, who now has five caps himself. But Burns is catching up the next in those caps. Burns off is doing an excellent job as he gets another kill, and it's next as well. Next goes down. Let's go back to Burns off. He's going to rotate back and play a little defense. He might not know there's somebody above him. They'll have to take that out, but Mochilla is absolutely slaying, and he's turned into more of a defensive role. And somebody from Orbit is right above him. I want to see who that is. It looks like it's Vintage. Vintage is going to get a kill. Can he cap? There's one more player he has to go up against. He gets a kill, and it goes on, but... Right now, the lead is five. But at the same time, those E-Girl Slayers were set up in their base, ready to capture that, and next thing you know, they're up five. And next, doing a whole heck of a lot of work for his team. He has those seven caps, but he's also 14 and 14, exactly like what you want to see. Orbit, on the other hand, 22 and 15, those six caps. So we have two all-star performances right there. As Next <laughs> gets one more cap, but three people from his team go down. Next, next play that really smart. He didn't try searching for anyone. He just saw the time ran out. And like I said, that side is so easy to cap on. You come around the corner, boom, you're already in there. And right there, we see that LXT is able to score even though he died. So he's brought his scoring total up to seven. They're still down by five. So it's really these E-Girl Slayers just pulling away by basically keeping it even going hand for hand as far as points go and like on the orbit in my eyes they're a really good objective team they're slaying just a little bit behind the e-girl slayers well and it's it i mean orbit lxt is 22 and 16 and vintage is 22 and 19 but you know so that they're they're, they're pulling their way it, it's josh and jake that really need to to step it up vintage though looks like and, and there's the game right there as it's mathematically, mathematically impossible. impossible. The word I hate saying, mathematically. Mathematically.
And like I said, the E-Girl Slayers, they, they brought their A-game today. They showed us why they want to take this home. And they are shaking hands and uh, good sportsmanship all around. I, that's what I love about eSports is the fact that you can be yelling and yelling and screaming and then turn around and shake the man's hand sitting across from you. And E-Girl Slayers, they're on to the next round. I don't want to say I predicted it, but did I not tell you next is going to go off? You did say next was going to go off. He was due. And look at oh, this. Oh, there's Revan. Woo! Man in here. He's giving us five. Go to the casters. Look at this guy. You we, just, sl we just slayed some egos right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. He just called Orbit out. DMs no, will be blowing kidding. up tonight. Oh, goodness gracious. And right there, we see the best of esports right there, Revan, showing he, he has a little com or com comedy in him. Oh, yeah. But, He's guys... Right now, we are going to be going to a commercial break. Make sure you stay tuned. I don't know who's next, but it's going to be a great match. See you guys.